Hi there. Today I'm going to show you how to make watermelon bread. It's called watermelon, but there's really no watermelon in the bread. It just looks like a watermelon when you slice it. It's fun to make. Uh, I want you to give it a try. Let's get started. Here are the ingredients. One and one fourth cups of milk. I use full cream milk. One tablespoon of instant dry yeast. One half cup of sugar. One teaspoon salt. One whole egg. One third cup of butter. One half kilo all purpose flour or about four cups. Raisins. You also need red food coloring and green food color. Let's start by warming the milk. We add sugar to the warm milk. And then you have yeast. And then we need one whole egg. And then all purpose flour. I just put the salt on top. Alright. Then let's mix this. After one or two minutes, you will see that it has formed a dough. So I'm going to add the butter now. And then we will mix this for about 8 minutes at medium speed until we check the gluten window. Here after 8 minutes, let's check. Do not worry if the dough is a little bit sticky. You can dip your hands in a little flour. And then pinch off a small portion. All right. Okay. And then try to stretch it. If you can stretch it without this breaking or tearing, see, it means you have achieved the gluten window. It means you have kneaded it enough. All right. So let's take this out and let's divide this into portion. Since the watermelon has three colors, you have red, green, and white. Uh, we will divide this into portions. The biggest part is the red. So let's put about, uh, I think I will do 650 to 700 grams of the red. And then for the green, I need about uh, 200 to 220 grams. All right. Then the rest, which is about 200 grams, we're going to use this for white. So it should look like this. Sometimes you can use one is to one, same amount for the red, uh, for the green and the white. But I like to put more green than the white. So this is red, green, and white. So the white, we don't need to color the white. All right. We need to color the red first. It has to be like watermelon red, so it has to be very red. All right, we take this out. I'm going to put some raisins here. Random. And then we'll put more later. For now, let's just put a few pieces. And then we form them into a ball and remember you put oil and then upside down see and then we let this rise then we color the green if you'll notice I need to wash the bowl with the red because when you add a little red to the green it uh, darkens the color a little bit it adds a little of the black This is the leaf green with a little uh, red, so that's why it's 
a little bit darker the color is a little darker a little deeper and then you put oil in a bowl and then you let this rise all right you let this rise 45 minutes to one hour and then you put plastic on top so that it will not form a film here we have the three colors of the dough red green and white i have many recipes to share with you if you're interested please like share subscribe and click the notification bell so you can be alerted when a new video is uploaded for the watermelon bread i'm going to show you two ways i'm going to use a loaf pan and uh I, I, this is just a mixing bowl all right so here this is after one hour you'll see it's double in bulk now since i'm going to use uh, five uh, molds I'm going to divide this into five, but if you're making only one or two molds, then you just divide this into one or two. All right. I don't have big molds. I'm using smaller ones. Okay. So I form this into a ball. All right. And then I will do the same with the green. Just to make this clear. I'm going to use five molds, so I divide it into, into five, all right? If you're making only uh, using three molds, then divide it into three, okay? So here, we start with the red. I'm going to roll out the red, always smooth side down. All right, and then we need to put the seeds. Don't use chocolate chips because the chocolate chips will melt. This one will stay. So, as I said, they will look like seeds. Okay. So here, what you do is you roll it into a baston. Okay. And then we have the white. White is next. Make sure that the white will enclose the red. Okay. You only need a thin amount of white. Just press them like this. Okay. And then green. Remember this will rise, so this will become bigger. See, the green became very nice because we added a little red. So it won't look like a leaf. And then here, wrap this. See. Okay. The ends, you can just pinch them together. This. Okay. So here, we put this in one mold like this okay and then this one if you use this mold I'm just trying to recreate like half of a watermelon so this one is a lot simpler what you do is of course as I said we need to put the seeds and then all you have to do is just form this into a smooth ball this one is different. We don't roll it into a baston. Okay? And then this one. Next. This time, we're going to try to make this into a round disc because the ball is round, of course. So, we put this one. And then, we put the green. You don't need to egg wash this, all right? So you just bake this as it is. No brush, no egg wash. Okay. All right, this one goes upside down like this, okay? Because we're going to invert it like this. So it's like half of a watermelon. 
don't forget to grease the pan with shortening okay and then we will let this rise until it's double in bulk that will take about 45 minutes to one hour okay and I'll continue with the rest here our watermelon bread is ready to go inside the oven don't worry about this and anyway, we're going to turn this upside down so this one will bake about 25 to 30 minutes at 350 degrees right okay our watermelon bread okay. you will know if it's cooked you hear a hollow sound okay all right and let's cool this and let's see if we can uh, it will look like a watermelon the watermelon bread has cooled down now is the uh, most exciting part we will see if it will look like a watermelon yes here let me like this and an oblong in, uh, in a triangular shape so they will look like watermelons okay here I have one too which I sliced look they look like watermelons even the texture looks like watermelon and then let's try the one with the this one remember the one in the bowl so this is like half watermelon see so you can put it like that like uh, you know it's like when you display so they will think it's really a watermelon okay mm -hmm. 